Hello everybody! In today's video, I'll show you how to record your computer screen with the integrated Windows 11 tool and with some third-party apps as well. Recording your screen could be useful in many situations. For example, you may need to record a short video from a game or create a video tutorial. This way or another, such feature could become very useful and effective no matter what you do. And today, we're going to explore the best ways of doing that. Let's get it started. We'll begin with the official utility by Microsoft – Xbox Game Bar. Some builds of Windows 11 come with this app pre-installed. But even if your Windows lacks it, you can always install Game Bar from Microsoft Store. Go to the Start menu, open Microsoft Store, sign in to Microsoft Store, type Xbox Game Bar in the search field. Press Enter. In the window that opens, click Get. Now Xbox Game Bar needs to be configured. Click on the Start menu, jump to Settings, open the Gaming tab, and find Captures. Choose where to save your records. Also, you can change record settings. To be more exact, set maximum recording length. Decide if you want sound recorded along with the video. Set video frame rate. Choose video quality. And decide if you want to see the mouse cursor in your video record. After that, start a game or another app you want to record. Launch Game Bar by pressing the key shortcut Win plus G. Finally, uh, look up to find this Capture button and click on it to start recording. On the left, the panel will appear with such options. Take a screenshot, record last 30 seconds, start recording, turn mic on or off while recording. Also, you can enable every setting with the help of a corresponding key shortcut. When you start screen recording, click on a free area to hide the Xbox panel, and the recording status will be shown in the top right corner of the screen. To stop recording, click on the record button again or press the key shortcut Win Alt R. Go to Game Bar by pressing Win G. Open the list of records by clicking on Show All Captures. This is where you can preview the screen captures you have made. Change the recording name. or open a file in the folder. Sometimes Xbox Game Bar may refuse to open, or it can turn off on its own all the time. But this can be fixed, and here is how. Go to the Start menu, Settings, Apps, Apps and Features, Find this program, Click on the three dots button on the right, open Advanced Options, look for the Repair button, launch the Repair feature and wait for some time. In the end, the progress bar will change into the tick. Also, you can reset the app by clicking on the corresponding button. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. To my mind, Xbox Game Bar is an excellent integrated tool for screen recording in Windows 11. However, it is restricted to being able to record only one running app at a time, and that's why I can't put it on top of my personal rating. Meanwhile, there are numerous tools out there to let you make screen recordings in various versions of Windows. Naturally, we will never have time and resources sufficient to describe every app that can do it, so we'll cover the best tools available. Let's start with FreeCam, which is a free utility. 
It's easy to use, but very effective. Visit the official website. Give your email. Click here to download. And then run the installer. When the installation is over, start FreeCam. When the program window opens, click New Recording. After that, change the screen capture area and switch it to full screen by clicking on this option. Also, you can select a specific application for recording or a specific area on your screen and click on the record button. After that, you will see a countdown 3 seconds before FreeCam starts the recording. To stop recording, press the Escape key. After that, the preview screen for the recorded video opens, and you can edit the video if necessary. If you don't need to, you can upload the video to YouTube immediately or just save it somewhere on your computer. With the integrated editor, you can remove noise, adjust the volume, trim the video, and add some fade-in and fade-out elements. To remove sound or some frames, select a part of the video to edit. Right-click and choose Silence Selection or Delete from the menu. After that, click Save and Close to go back to the previous window. When you are finished with editing, click Save as video. Now you can upload it to YouTube as well. FreeCam is pretty easy to use, and it offers a great range of functions for an ordinary user. However, there are also more complicated tools over there, such as OBS, which stands for Open Broadcaster Software. It's a popular application used by thousands of streamers on various platforms. In addition to streams and broadcasts, it can also record videos of what's happening on your computer. OBS is a very good choice. With all of its functionality, it's absolutely free to use. To download OBS, follow the link in the description. Select the platform where to install the app. In my case, it is Windows. Run the installer. When the installation is over, start the app. After that, the Auto Configuration Wizard opens. Click on the tab Optimize just for recording. Click Next. Select Resolution and Frame Rate. Next. Apply Settings. Then jump to the tab Services. And add your display capture. Click OK when necessary. Also, you can add new sources, for example, some text for a logo. For the game capture feature, various settings are available. Go to the Controls tab. Click on Start Recording. To stop or pause the recording, go back to the OBS window and click on the Stop Recording button or the Pause button.
In the lower left corner of the app window, you will see the path to the new record you have just made. In my opinion, this is the best tool to choose if you are looking for a free tool to record your screen, with good functionality, high performance and ease of use, even for beginners. And that is all for now. Hopefully, this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck! While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.